There are some stories that can never be told. This is one of them. Not with these pictures, or these pictures, or a million more. And not with words either, not these words or any others. It is all too much. A calamity of such epic proportions, so massive in size and scope, the truth of it is far beyond journalism's reach. A million and a half Rwandans, nearly 20% of the country's entire population, trying desperately to survive one more day in this relentlessly inhospitable corner of Zaire. It is not like the famine in Somalia. It is not like the flight of the Iraqi Kurds into the mountains of Iran and Turkey. It is not like the siege of Sarajevo or the plight of Bosnians displaced by that war. It is not like anything I've ever seen in 30 years as a reporter. It is, I think, the standard against which all future tragedies will be measured. For all up and down this road, this road that leads north from the border, there is madness and horror beyond telling, beyond belief. We're exposed to, to death every day and night. It's a desperation I read on all the faces here. Yes, I killed. When you kill somebody, you can tell from the sound of your gun. The noise of a bullet hitting a body is different from the sound of it whizzing through the air. But that's how you learn to recognize that you have shot someone. start pretending to shoot back, but using your own voice. After that, they took us to where there is a machine gun. Then they started shooting and we had to dodge it. They shot it in order to make your heart strong and to not fear the sound. They did that several times. Finally, we were provided uniform and guns. abundant natural resources such as diamonds, oil, gold and uranium, the country has barely any developed infrastructure. third largest country with the population of over 71 million it is about the size of Western Europe and it's a place where 12 out of every hundred women have been raped at least once that's one of the findings of a study published in the American Journal of Public Health according to the study women are raped in the DRC at a rate of 48 an hour over 1,000 a day 420,000 per year. Dr. Michael Van Royen is with the Harvard Humanitarian Initiative, which sends doctors to Congo to treat rape victims. 
He says the numbers aren't surprising. In many ways, these numbers are a confirmation of what we suspected all along, and that um, rape in the Congo is a widespread and uh, a pervasive attribute of not only the, the conflict in the Congo, but also um, as it's spread across the country. It's a, it's a cancer that is metastasized throughout the country.